Now, talk about what the, in, the Inflation Reduction Act has done, because they've really put some pretty good pricing in that could really maybe get others to, to, to work with you to get things done. They really did, Jim, and, and it, it's been just a fantastic couple of years in terms of the whole panorama for carbon capture. We started with the, uh, the original 45Q tax credit, which, uh, which provided a $50 per ton tax credit for carbon captured and sequestered underground. That was great because that got us a great start with a bunch of low cost of capture industries like ammonia, methanol, ethanol, and so on. And, and so that's where we started, and that's where we begin going down this path. What's really cool is that once we saw the IRA and we, we saw that $50 tax credit increase to $85 a ton. Now, what that did, especially when you combine it with continued work to just reduce the cost of capture, is it brings a whole bunch of new industry into the money, say, in, in capturing their emissions. And these are industries with very hard to abate emissions like cement or steel or even power generation, which is uh, for us kind of the holy grail of getting to the meat of the huge amount of emissions that we have right here in the United States. So, so we're very to... excited about it. Because yeah. We think the door is just wide open for a very, very big industry oh. and a big business here. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.